everybody welcome back so this video is actually a answer to a question that i got in the video for the at games legends console and the question was regarding if you could use an arcade stick on it so i figured originally i was going to incorporate that question and answer into the video on modifying the firmware or um, updating the firmware on the legend to play more games but i figured it might be enough where i can cover this in a separate video here now about the controllers and we'll still cover the software firmware upgrade in a future video so right now I do have four controllers that I can uh, take a look at in this video. We have the original controller, which we're not testing. That one worked. We have the Sega 6 button, the original Sega 6 button that came with the later Genesis systems. We have the Sega 3 button, the original. We have a 6 button uh, third party controller, I believe it was made by Interact. And then finally we have a Sega 3 button arcade stick that would have come out early in the Genesis run to see how that plays on the system. And that is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Let's take a look. All right, so just to remind everybody what the factory controller looks like, it looks like this, like a Sega 6 button. And just in that vein, we'll test a Sega 6 button. And here we go. All right, so this is a Sega 6 button controller. This is the one that would came with, uh, I don't know, probably maybe Genesis Model 2 or 3. Um, so here we go. So what we'll do is just seeing if it works. I'm assuming this one should work just fine, just like any other controller. And what we'll do just to test all six buttons is we'll just play Street Fighter since that will play all six buttons for us. All right, so just like the regular one, we have, if I could get a hit in, bottom rower kicks, upper rower punches, start button does nothing since this is an arcade game, just start the game, that's about it. So this one clearly works just like the regular included controller does, it just feels a whole lot better. Everything's responsive. All right, so next up we have the SG Pro Pad 6. Now, if you notice right now, I'm not pressing anything, and yet the controller on screen is randomly moving around. So I got, I noticed that earlier too when I was testing these, is this controller is kind of erratic when it's working. Now, it does have the slow motion button, which is basically pressing start over and over again. So I noticed when that is engaged, which sometimes it is when you first plug it in, it will just start playing the game. All right, so next up we have an original Sega Genesis 3 button controller. Uh, this is what would have come with an original Genesis system, be it the Model 1 or the Model 2. Uh, this is the one with the white lettering on it. There is an earlier version with the red lettering. I want to say one was with maybe the a very first high def Genesis. Well, the, you know, not literally high def, but the one that says high def on it. And this was later maybe with the Model 2 or the later Model 1. This one seems to work fine. Nothing's moving on its own. It feels fine. Um, so since this one only has three buttons on it, we'll play a game that doesn't need all six buttons. So we'll try the first Mega Man game. So I'm assuming, uh, just like when we play the other one, that I think B and C become the buttons you're using. All right, start button works. And we'll just go through and go right over to Bomb Man. And we'll see how this works. Oh, okay. Interestingly enough, I actually don't have any control right now. So I can move side to side, but I don't have any weapon buttons, which is very strange. You know what I'm wondering? I'm gonna reset the system with this plugged in. Maybe that makes a difference. Okay, so we're back, system's turned back on. We're gonna go back into Mega Man and see how this game works now. All right, so this is in the Bomb Man stage. And yeah, I have no action buttons. I can't jump, Can't. I can only move left and right, it seems. So the three button controller not working very well in this game. All right, and the last controller testing is this big one right here. This is the Sega Genesis Arcade Power Stick, the three button version. I don't have a six button version of the stick, unfortunately, to test. And right off the bat, I'm noticing that I cannot go up and down on the menu. I can only go left and right. Uh, looking at the lights here, I'm noticing that the turbos are on. So I'm gonna turn those turbos off just to see. Okay, and look, now I have up and down, so that's kind of weird. So when the turbos are on, you can't go up and down. All right, so uh, let's, you know what? 
Now this in theory should work just like the three button and probably not work in Mega Man, but just for the heck of it, let's try it. And then we'll also try this in Galaga since it's, you know, old school arcade shooter. All right, so that's actually very odd. So now with the arcade stick, which in theory should be just like the three button, I have B buttons fire and Mega Man's Mega Buster, and C is jumping, A does nothing. And I can move normal. Now I'm wondering if turbo works. So let's do, let's see, if B is shoot, let's turn turbo on, we'll turn it all the way up. And yeah, look at that, we have, we have turbo functions. If I hold down B and play with the slider, it changes the rate of the turbo. So it looks like you may have full functionality with this arcade stick on here. Seems to play pretty good. So it looks like it's working. Kind of weird though how in the menus though, the turbos affected how the menus worked, but in the game, the turbos work just fine. So very, very strange. I'm also very, very surprised that the three button normal controller doesn't work on this system, yet the three button arcade stick does. That's very perplexing. I'm wondering if the six button arcade stick works. Uh, probably not since that six button turbo controller didn't work. Um, but that one is third party and the, you know, Sega one, at least the, maybe the Sega one six button might work, might not, but this one does work. So for what, what the question was asking, if this does work, it does indeed work. Let's try it in Galaga, just to, you know, try it in a shooter just to, just to see how it plays. Actually, you know what? Even better. You know what? I gotta try it. Let's play it in this, uh, what is it called again? Philios? Let's try it in here. Because... If the, anything needs an arcade stick, this game does. I mean, Galaga does too, but this game, from what I played the other day, fantastic game. And plus we're gonna use the hole up and down too. In Galaga, we only be going left and right. Speed up option, oh, we got it all going now. This, so yeah, this feels terrific on here. Just watching out for all these guys down here. And yeah, this does feel good. Let's put turbo on all the way up. There we go. That's what turbo is for. Turbo is made for shoot 'em ups. There we go. That looks great. And there, well, you know, can't account for skill. So it looks like we do have a win. We do have a working arcade stick on this unit. This one is played and tested. Just remember, just like when I started this, you can't have the turbos on in the menu, even though it doesn't in theory matter. The control pad, well, the joystick, doesn't work correctly if turbos are on in the menu. But besides that, this feels fine. And for everybody wondering, this is a fantastic arcade stick. The buttons feel amazing. The, the joystick's a little mushy. It's not, you know, clicky or anything like that, but it does work. It just doesn't have, a, you know, as much throw. It's kind of a short throw and a little mushy, but beyond that, it's a good, it's a good arcade stick. All right, guys, so I hope that did help you out, kind of just figuring out what you can use with this uh, system. I'm curious if the additional firmware does make any difference. I wouldn't imagine they mess with controls very much, but who knows? You know, maybe they've got some better better functionality with the different firmware, but I think that firmware is probably just more for games and additions to the system like that. As always, guys, I appreciate the watch. Uh, in the next video about this thing, we will be modifying it, but until then, I'll see you next time.